Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to make this starburst vinyl and glitter tumbler using some new vinyl from Slide Hustle and the latest PDB Creative Studio pack. The vinyl patterns that I'm showing you are from Slide Hustle and they are just they speak for themselves as far as their beauty, but they do have an in-house designer who is obviously incredible at what she does. And all of the colors that are in these vinyls just so happen to match the PDB Creative Studio glitter pack. I've been wanting to do the Starburst glitter tumbler for quite some time. I just didn't really know with what. And these two combined together, the glitter pack and the vinyl, it I just knew immediately that this is what I wanted to do. So I grabbed a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia, who is soon to be the Tipsy Magnolia. They are going through a bit of a transitional phase right now, so I will have both websites listed down below, but just be patient. As soon as they open up the new website, I will have my code and all that information for you as well. Before I got started with my tumbler, the first thing that I did was get my glitter in order in which I wanted to put them on the tumbler. Our glitters are Cherry Pop, Mango Sorbet, Pacific Coast, Havana and El Dorado and all of these will be released at pdbcreativestudio.com on May 3rd. And then the Crystalac Flippin Awesome Paints that we are using is Rosy Beige, Purple Delight, Emerald Green, Spicy Mustard, and Crimson. I have always loved using the Flippin Awesome Paints because they do have really good coverage. They're thin and they're very smooth. The only downfall to these is they do dry incredibly fast, which is also a really good benefit, but when you're using multiple colors like this, you definitely have to work against that dry time. And just as any other paints that I have used in my tutorials, you definitely want to pick these up on occasion and give them a shake so you keep them well mixed even when you are not using them. If I'm being honest, I definitely slacked on just occasionally shaking my paints so you can see in the bottles that they don't quite look like they are mixed really well, but they obviously perform as they would if they were brand new and I am able to blend them really well without any clumping or any issues. I only had three paint brushes at the time, but honestly, whenever you're doing a multicolor ombre like this, it would be great if you had a paintbrush or what I like to use are makeup brushes for each color. That way you're not constantly having to run like I was to a sink and wash the paintbrush out and then run back and hope that you beat the time of the paint dry. We absolutely could have used spray paint, but when you are putting so many colors, we have five glitter colors, and I'm going to do an ombre from the center. So the single spot of gold in the middle, and then I'm gonna use the other four colors on the top and the bottom. So we have nine total areas that we need to ombre, and that's gonna be really difficult to do with a spray paint. And what I like to do to build my ombres, I pretty much do the same thing with them as I would a glitter. You want to go light the very first time, and then the next time you can really blend those colors in really well together. I go in with that first color, paint on the next, add a little bit of that the prior <laughs> color, and then blend those two together.
this did take me quite a while. And at this point, my arms were hurting from holding the tumbler and moving the paintbrush back and forth. So I called it good because we're going to really try to blend our colors in well together. Plus, we're going to have vinyl on top of this. So I don't have to be super particular. Since we are doing multiple ombre areas, I'm going to have to work slowly. So that means I want to use the epoxy method to apply my glitter. Normally I would use my artistry one-to-one -one ratio fast set, but I did have to do another tumbler and I am going to use turbo from a little extra ink epoxy because this one does have a little bit of a lengthier quote unquote fast set dry time. However, you can mix large quantities of this or it gives you a longer work time. So I can, of course, put some epoxy on this tumbler and then move over to the next one without concern of it setting up really fast on me. I'm honestly not even sure if I have done a tutorial since I parted ways with my epoxy affiliation. And really the reason that I did that is simply so I can use what works best for me without compromising my relationship with an affiliation and a company. So I do still have my artistry one-to-one -one ratio facet and will use it religiously on my initial coats on my tumblers unless I'm working with multiple tumblers at one time or putting on my final coats. For multiple tumblers at one time or my final coats, I love the high quality gloss that you get with a little extra ink epoxy. And their original formula is actually a faster drying regular epoxy. And their turbo is slightly faster dry than their original formula. But it still allows you to mix large quantities. I was working on my Mother's Day box tumblers and mixing 180 milliliters at a time. So I can epoxy a lot of tumblers and still get a dry tum between three and four hours. Pretty awesome. We're not going to get too in-depth on that in this tutorial. I probably will have one very soon just letting you know what I use and why. And I do also plan on trying other epoxies out there because it's important to me to be able to help you troubleshoot with any issues you may be having. And if I haven't tried it myself, I can't help you to the best of my ability. All right, so the first glitter that we are going in with is El Dorado. And rather than tilting our tumbler back and forth to get those ombres, we're working with a very small spot once again. So we are going to lightly dust in all of those areas and build our coverage up. You want to start in the center of where your color needs to be. Go into the next color and into the previous color with a light dusting. And when you're working with small spaces like this, you want to go almost all the way into the next color so that when you do add that one in, it really looks like they flow in together.
Normally I'm using either parchment paper. Actually, I don't even think I've ever used parchment paper. I just say that you can use it. But anyway, I'm out of parchment paper as well as printer paper. So we're obviously using uh, some wrapping tissue paper, whatever works. <laughs> just roll that glitter up and flatten it out or roll the tumbler up and flatten the glitter out so you can minimize the amount of epoxy you have to use to get this nice and smooth. I downloaded a burst file from Etsy. I will have that link down below for you. It comes with three different types and I want to use the one that's going to give me the most glitter showing through and big enough spots for our vinyl to really stand out as well. So I highlighted on the group, I ungrouped them and then right clicked on each of the designs that I wanted to remove and deleted it. I then unlocked the dimensions, measured my tumbler after I had got it ready for my vinyl so that it would be the exact size and resized the image to the size of the tumbler. I then just double check to be safe to make sure that my seam is going to line up by duplicating that image and putting it over to the side. I then placed one of my slide hustle vinyls on my cutting mats and cut that on my machine while I held my breath <laughs> hoping that it did not mess up my beautiful vinyl. And it actually did. You see that little piece that is pulled off. I don't know what happened but it completely destroyed my little triangle underneath the piece that is already removed. So I did have to cut that separate and it doesn't flow with the rest of the patterns but we're not going to look at that too much because we won't be able to tell once it is on the tumbler and we have our main decal on. I was already excited about this tumbler because I knew that it was going to be pretty awesome in the end, but after I removed all of that excess where we are going to see our glitter peek through, I really got pumped up about this design because that just looks absolutely beautiful. It's a whole illusion thing going on. So I took some of my transfer tape, placed it over top, made sure that it was really nice and flat. I trimmed off all of the excess on the edges, a little bit of that backing so that we can use the hinge method to apply it to our tumbler and get our seam perfectly straight. I did forget to mention earlier that once that layer of epoxy and glitter had dried, I gave this three coats of matte clear Rust-Oleum spray paint so that I can seal that glitter in before I applied my epoxy. I only did one pretty generous layer of epoxy on this and then sanded it a lot, obviously, <laughs> to get it really smooth for our vinyl.
I did have a hair of an overlap, so to clean that up, I put a piece of painter's tape directly down the center of where they overlap, trimmed down just like we would a full sheet of vinyl, and removed the excess underneath and on top of all of those so that they would lie nice and flat. Honestly, I don't even think pinstriping was necessary on this. I'm just extra, so here we are. But the vinyl was cut perfectly with our Cricut machine, so it definitely can be left as is and would shine up beautifully once you apply some epoxy on top. So, like I said, I think this is definitely an extra step for some added flair. But these stripes are cut to 0.04 by 11 and a half inches. Very, very thin stripes, but I did not want to take away too much from our vinyl or our glitter.
So after you get all of this vinyl on, you're going to have a really big lump in the middle where they all crisscross. So a solution to that, so it is not such a lifted spot with after you epoxy, you can just trim that off. We are going to put a decal over this, but I am going to give you a solution if you don't plan on putting a decal on the front. Okay, so if you plan on stopping here and you don't want to add on a decal in the center of this to make it look nice and clean, what I did was cut out a half inch circle. I'm going to place that circle down trim out all around it nice and clean so I can remove all that lumpiness underneath it, remove all of that excess vinyl, and then put our circle back down in the center and it looks very nice and smooth. I'm going to press down all over this thing to make sure all of my vinyl is secure to my tumbler and give it a coat of epoxy. I had already attempted to put this decal on another cup. Normally I wouldn't trim off all of that excess vinyl because it's going to disappear anyway once you put your epoxy on for your final coats. But I did have some fingerprints in that clear portion and I wanted to remove them so I trimmed out around that decal pulled off or cut off a little bit of that backing, lined it up on the tumbler, pressed that exposed piece down, and then pressed the decal down onto the tumbler as I was removing the backing at the same time. This gives you a smooth and bubble-free application. And then once it's all the way on there, you can take a vinyl weeding tool or the tip of a craft knife and pop any bubbles. If you do happen to get any in there, press those out and then you also want to make sure that you press your edges down really well so they will disappear underneath your epoxy. We're going to give this two final coats of epoxy and this tumbler is complete. I know I was really excited about this design and like I said, I have really been wanting to do one of these star burst tumblers, but I am just in complete awe over how this turned out. Everything worked together beautifully and I think the tumbler just looks like a piece of stained glass. The, the colors are just so vibrant. Man, I just love it so much and I hope that y'all do too. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. All materials I have used will be listed down in the description. Don't forget, these glitters will release at pdbcreativestudio.com on May 3rd. Our discount code will be listed down below, as well as a permanent discount code for Slide Hustle, which I'm super excited to announce to y'all. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.